Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. As you know, if you listen to our show a lot, or if you're, you're out from under that rock you've been living under, we are huge supporters of Born This Way Foundation, and uh, of course, Cynthia Germanata, who was one of the original, the original founding members of Born This Way Foundation, is with us. Hey, Cynthia, welcome to the show. Hey, Elvis. Thank you for having me. Great to see everyone. Well, and it's great to see you. And I know you have some new exciting news coming from a Born This Way Foundation. Uh, you just launched your Please Stay Pledge, highlighting uh, the fact that you guys are a perfect resource for people who need uh, to tune up in the mental, mental health world, to find themselves, to find their voice. Talk about what you guys are up to. Yeah, well, so we, I mean, at Born This Way Foundation, we're, we're working hard every day to help eliminate the stigma around mental health. And, you know, even before the pandemic, there was a surge in depression, anxiety, uh, suicide among young people. And, you know, I refer to uh, mental health being the second pandemic. And there's an alarming surge in suicide. And we have teamed up with our friends and partners at Find Your Anchor uh, on its grassroots initiative to really support suicide prevention, uh, awareness and education. And the premise behind it is to find an anchor, um, to, to, whether that's a friend, it could be 30 minutes of breathing, your favorite food, but you know, build a community of anchors to keep you here. And, you know, when we want people to know that are in, you know, their darkest hour, that they're valued, we love them. There is hope to turn this around, but it's really important uh, to find an anchor in your life. So that that's basically what please stay dot uh, us is about. There's a lot of resources. Um, I think one of the wonderful things about it is it comes from lived experience. Uh, the founder of this um, organization is a four-time suicide survivor. So what she's done, and I'm so uh, in awe of her courage, her bravery, her resilience to share her story. She's a four-time suicide survivor and has come up with a very creative simple but important way of letting people know that they're valued and loved. Uh, there's, there's a lot of resources in the site. Uh, there's a, a box called Find Your Anchor that has tips in it. It has a deck of cards that has 52 reasons to stay alive in it. And, and it's really just been a, a life-saving tool for so many people. And there's also you know, a real live pledge. Um, I've taken it myself. We challenge people to take the pledge. You know, I, Cynthia Germanana, promise to stay here. And it's something you can print, you can share it with friends, you can ask them, you know, to sign it. And it, it's really been a life saving tool. Wow. And wow. what a simple message. Please stay here. Yeah. Right. It, it's so simple, it, but it's so powerful. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, mental health during the pandemic. There, there's two things at play, in, in my opinion. First of all, there's a pandemic going on. So if I'm having any problems, why do I want to burden anyone else with what I'm going through? Because, you know, there are people dying and people sick and people trying to stay alive. And secondly, you know, because of the pandemic, you, you're, you're mentally in a different lane, you know. So this is a time you, you need to be so aware of how you're feeling you need to be checking in with your friends and making sure they're checking in with themselves. And when you said we need to all find an anchor, did you guys all start thinking about who you're or oh, what your anchor is? hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, immediately. I went right to that. Like Danielle, for instance, your anchor. Do you know? Oh, my husband is my anchor. Are you kidding me? You know how many times that he, if I'm crying about something, he's like, okay, sit down, let's discuss this. Right. And he gets me through so many things. Do you guys oh, yeah. have an anchor? Get Gandhi? Absolutely. My older sister, she is everything to me. I mean, I have a good day. I call her. I have a bad day. I call her. She is just there for everything I need. And she's so good with conflict resolution. She thinks about things in ways that I don't. So it's amazing. So if it's not a person, you're saying take a long walk, you get out into nature, breathe. You know, just breathe yeah. for 30 minutes. Well, I'm thinking, well, I breathe every minute. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> well, no, being aware of your breathing changes everything in your life. It truly does. These are all great things to think about. Please continue, though, because you're on to something very, very important. No, but I mean, it's also something that, I mean, I, I love what, you know, Gandhi and Danielle said that 
we do a lot of research at Born This Way Foundation. And one of the really, I think, important findings is when a young person in particular is in a, like a mental health or a substance abuse crisis, they'd prefer to turn to a peer, like a person. And so, you know, Gandhi for you and Danielle, that's actually a person. And one person can actually make a difference in, mm -hmm. in your life and, you know, at a very, very critical time. and. I know this, the pandemic has been, I call it a time of firsts for all of us. I mean, we're all going through things that we have never expected in a lifetime that we okay. would experience and we're not alone. And, uh, you know, no matter how insignificant you may feel right now, it, it's so important to stay connected, to do self care um, and, and to reach out if you're in times of crisis because our whole lives have been disrupted, our routines, you know, the isolation and, you know, we've kind of flipped the conversation about social distancing and we're saying, no, remain physically distanced, but socially connected. We all have lost and, you know, I'm grateful for things like Zoom because, you know, we can stay together. But as my daughter says, we're not just pictures on a screen, right? In, in little boxes. These are real life people here with feelings. So yeah. it's really important to reach out. Very much so. Hey, give the resources again. Yeah, so uh, the pledge is hashtag please stay, and it mm -hmm. can be found at please stay dot us. There it Not is. Not only the pledge, but tools. Uh, you can request the find your anchor box, and there's just really a lot of incredible tips there. And, you know, the other thing that we've done is we want as many people as possible to hear about this and to know that they matter and that they're valued. So we have also put up billboards. We're starting to put them up in many places. There's billboards in many locations in New Jersey and San Francisco. Uh, I walked to Times Square yesterday because we put up a billboard there that says, this is the sign you've been looking for, uh, hashtag please stay. And they'll be going up in Las Vegas. So we're really trying to get as many people as possible um, to see that that we're there for them, you know, that we care. Uh, th this, th the rates are alarming. You know, there was a, a CDC study last summer that over a 30 day period, one out of four young people uh, had considered suicide or had suicide mm. ideation. And that is just so alarming. It's unacceptable and it's unnecessary. I mean, there, there are ways to turn your life around. And a lot of that is just knowing that somebody somebody cares about you. Wow, this is all powerful stuff. And I tell you what, uh, if you're on the go right now and you're moving around and you can't write down or remember exactly where to go for these resources, which are very, very, very deep and rich, uh, we will put them up on our socials and we'll let you know where you can go. And if not for you, think about th that one or two, those one or two people in your life that really could use the message, please stay. A deck of cards that has 52 reasons to stay. It may just take one of those reasons to make you go, okay, yep, I'll stay. This is great stuff. Thanks for sharing Absolutely. this with us. Wait, you have a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wonderful daughters. You know, <laughs> Stephanie, who's Gaga, as you know, and Natalie. And I told Natalie today, I was, I was like, I'm going to talk to Elvis. And she was like, oh, my God, the morning zoo. <laughs> <She> <laughs> oh that is an old school term. I remember that from way back. Both of, you know, I had to, like, you know, it made them late like so many times. I was like, come on, you've got to turn that off. And um, it, they, they love you so much. Well, then why'd you make them turn us off? How dare you? <laughs> 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 We're learning so much. Uh, I love watching uh, watching uh, Gaga over over in Europe as she's doing the, uh, the uh, uh, Gucci, the Gucci film, right? Yep. And she's dressed up in that slick 70s funky style, which it's, it's it, it fantastic. I wish that style would come back. I mean, that's even before my time, but she she really owns it. How she wears that. Do you agree? Oh yeah, and I love it. Like that's my my thing, my era, and I I want all the clothes. It's it's really <laughs> it's really fantastic, and it it looks like it's going to be wonderful. Well, tell the, all the family, yeah. everyone, that we said hello. And uh, Cynthia, thank you for coming on today. I sure will. And thank, thank you all for caring about this issue, shining the light on it, and, and um, having Born This Way Foundation on. And 
supporting us. Thank you. Hashtag Police Day. There is a Police Day pledge uh, for you or someone you may know, and we will make sure we uh, we shower you with resources if you just check out our Elvis Duran show, uh, Instagram and uh, and Twitter, all of them. We'll get all that information up. Thank you, Cynthia. Have a beautiful day, okay? Thank you. You too. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Cynthia. Thank you. Okay, bye. The Mercedes-AMG Interview Lounge.